Hello everyone, today we are going to install Flutter on Windows. First of all we go to this page here, Flutter.io, and then we have this button here, get started on the right top corner, and we click it, and here we select for this video Windows. We also go into another tab and here we want to type JDK and download. And we go to the Oracle page directly and here we have also to accept all the terms and here we go to the Windows section and download the executable file. Then we go back here to our Flutter I.O. page and here we need to download Git for Windows and also the Windows PowerShell if we have not Windows 10. So if you have a version before Windows 10 then go ahead and download the Windows PowerShell also. I have here Windows 10 so I will only go with Git for now. And here on this Git page you need to download the correct version. So we have here the 32-bit or 64 and therefore we can go here to our search and type in information. So we go to the system information and here you see your system type. So in this case we need version 64. Um, if there is something like 84, you need the 32 version. So I will go with 64 and also save it here. The next thing what we need to do is also to download this Flutter Windows version here. So we go here and just download it for now. And if the downloads are finished, we go to our download folder. And here we go first of all to our GDK and install it. And now we just follow the normal installing steps. So we just go here next, next, and then the Java GDK will be installed on our computer. And if we are finished, we just close this tab here, and then we also start here our Git installation. And here we go next. Then you decide where you want to install it. I will keep the default settings. Again next. And here we need to go with the option use Git from the command prompt. So we go next and we just say here everything OK. And here we just finish. And now the next thing what we need to do is to extract this zip file here. And I go with 7-zip. You can also download it if you don't have this program. The next step what we need to do is to go into this folder which was extracted. And then we copy or cut it here. And then we go to our C disk and here we just copy it into. And an important thing is that we don't put this extracted folder to C program files because it needs some privileges which it doesn't have in this folder. However, it's totally fine to have it under C. And then we go into this folder and here we locate this Flutter console and we will send it here to our desktop for now. And now we can open this here up and we have literally our Flutter console open and just type Flutter. And like you can see, we get here this message, welcome to Flutter, so it works. However, if you also want to have this Flutter comment in your normal command line tool, then you cannot do it currently. If you type here Flutter, the system doesn't find it. So what we need to do for it, we need to go here to our environmental settings. And first of all, we go back to our folder here. And here where we located our Flutter console, we go to this bin folder and we copy the path here. And then we go to our environmental variables. And here we need to edit this path variable. And I will go here to edit. And then I will create here new. And here we just add this path which we copied before and accept it here, accept it again and again. If we type here again Flutter, it doesn't work because we need to restart our command line tool. Therefore, we start it again. And now if we type here Flutter, then it also works here fine in our normal command line prompt. And here you see all the comments which you can use later for your Flutter application. And one of it we want to use is Flutter Create to create here a new project. So we go in our location where we want to set a project. I will just go here into my C folder and here I have created a folder which is named Flutter Projects and I will just copy this path and then write CD and go to this path. And now we want to create a project so we go here with Flutter, create, 
my first project. So you just type your name, which has to be in lowercase and can also provide here some underscores if you want. And now we created this project and now our application is um, created by Flutter. And we also see here that we have set up some things correctly. So we have here Flutter installed. However, here are three things which are not really nice. One is we can have here connected devices so we can connect it later to our smartphone which we have. So we can plug our smartphone into our computer and then it will show you up. These errors which you get here are normally really good to read. So it says here you have to install Android Studio from this page here. However, we just go here back to our getting started page where we were before, where we downloaded our files. And here we simply go a little bit down. Then we see here this thing about Android setup. And here we say install Android Studio. And here we have this provided link where we can install Android Studio. So let's download it here. And here we need to also agree the terms and then click download and we download it in our normal downloads folder. So it takes some time, but we can also do something until it is done here. And until it is downloaded, I can explain what we can do next after we install Android Studio. So we have two options or three options if we want to use Android Studio also, but normally people don't use it, so they tend to use VS Code. So you can install it here and go to this Visual Studio Code page and download it here on the right side and also install it. Or you have also another option which I prefer. So you go here to the home page of IntelliJ and here you can also type behind it community edition and then just go to the first link download IntelliJ and now you see we are here on Windows and here you have the community edition and the ultimate for the ultimate version you have to pay for and you get here free trial. But you can also use the community edition, it's free and open source, just download it here. And for Flutter you don't need more than just the community edition. After our download we go to the Android Studio location where we downloaded it to and here we simply install it. Now we go through the whole installation process, so make sure that this Android virtual device is selected. I will install it here to the default location. If you don't do, you need to go here and follow these steps. So here it says if you installed it to a custom location, you need to set the environment variable Android Home and add it to your pass environment variable. Just keep it here and you save this step. And then I will just install it. And here we simply say next and we go here with standard also. Then we click finish and it takes some time until everything is downloaded. After this long installation we click finish and now we open a new project here. I will just go here with an empty activity for now and create an application so that we get access. And here we can go to the symbol to this SDK manager then we need to go to this SDK tools and click on this checkbox Google USB driver and we apply and then it says that we need to install it and we click OK. Then we need to accept the licenses and click Next. And then we go back to our Flutter console. I hope you have it open, otherwise open it again. And we just type here Flutter Doctor. So this is a common to just see if everything is installed correctly. And now we see we have here a problem with the Android licenses that is unknown. And to resolve it, we simply type Flutter Doctor and dash dash Android dash licenses. And we accept it here with yes. And again with yes, again, 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 again. So we have to accept it multiple times. If we type in Flutter Doctor again, you see that this issue is resolved. Before we set up IntelliJ also, we go here to our AVD manager. Now we can create here a virtual device so that it is shown here on our computer like a smartphone. And here we can select a smartphone which we like. So you can go with Pixel XL or a Nexus. I will go with 5X and then you just go here with Next 
and now it loads you some images which you can download so you can download the different versions of Android. I will go with the newest one um, and then it will download this Android version which I have selected here, in this case Pi, and it takes some time. I think we can do something else currently, so we can also install here IntelliJ. Just follow the normal installation process, so I will install it here to the default location. And then we just install it. After this installation is finished, we need to reboot our computer, but I will select that I will reboot it later. And now we can open here IntelliJ IDE. We confirm the user agreement, continue, and I don't want to share my data, so I don't send. We can customize our IntelliJ. I will go with the light version. You can also take the dark one. And for now, we just skip the remaining and set defaults. With IntelliJ, it is then able to program all of our application for iOS and Android. And it's really comfortable to program with IntelliJ because you have many shortcuts which you can use. And now we can create a new project or import our project. And maybe you reminded that we created before a Flutter project. So we had this Flutter comment, which we did like Flutter create, and then my first um, app. So we did it before and we saved it to a location. And now we want to go to this location and import it. So I will go here to the Flutter projects. And here we have my first project and I will just import it here. And we select create project from existing sources, go next. And I will keep the default settings here. And we just override it for now. And we just go next, next again, and also next. Here we need to select an SDK, but we have it here already. Finish. And after everything is loaded, you will see this main dart file which is in our lib folder. And here we have this button install plugins. So we need to install this Flutter plugin and the Dart plugin. So you can click here or you can also go to file and settings. Then you write here plugins, select it here. And now we can search here for Flutter. which we install and it says the plugin you want to install requires other plugin Dart which have to be installed as well. Proceed. So we install both. So we just restart our IDE and here we see that the version Pi is downloaded for our emulator so we click here finish and then we select here Pi and click next and then we click here finish and now you can see that this emulator Nexus 5X is added to our list, to our virtual devices. You can open the emulator with this play button here, but I will do everything with IntelliJ from now. So I will just close this. And now in IntelliJ we go simply to Tools, and here we have this option Android, and we have here this SDK Manager. And here we simply select the Android SDK and then he wants to install this Android SDK for our IntelliJ. So we will just go here with next because it says an existing Android SDK was detected. So he will take this SDK and then we click next again and finish and press here simply OK. So we go here with this Android API 28. The next thing what we do is we go again to tools and again to Android and this time the AVD manager is enabled. So we click here and now we can also control our virtual devices from IntelliJ and we will simply start our emulator here. After our emulator has started we simply can close this virtual device manager window. And now we see that we have here this Android SDK, which is the equivalent of this emulator here on the right side. And this is selected for running this main file. 
and we will simply run this application and it will run on this simulator then. And in this main file is the standard application which is provided by Flutter. So it will show here simply a text. You have pushed the buttons this many times and it will then show a counter and a button where we can increase this counter. Another thing which we can do until this application is loaded, we go to the command prompt and here we simply type Flutter Doctor. And again, this comment is useful to show if our application, our setup has some problems. And now if we run this comment, we see that IntelliJ is installed correctly. However, for our Android Studio, we didn't install the Flutter plugin and the Dart plugin. It doesn't take you any benefit if you don't use Android Studio. And here again, it shows um, that the Android license status is unknown. So we will go again with this Flutter Doctor Android licenses command. And now it says that all licenses has been accepted. And now if you have done everything correct, you see on the right side this application here and you have your counter and you can increase it by pushing here on this button. Otherwise, if you have an error like this, for example, so here, for example, it says license for package Android SDK platform 27 not accepted, then you need to download the correct licenses. So for example, you go to Android Studio again, then you need to go to tools and SDK manager. The next thing then is you look at this version, which is not accepted. So in this case, it's 27. You have to then to make a tick here also on this 27 and install it. And then also the licenses should be accepted and everything should work fine. Um, to always be sure that everything is correct and if you have any troubles, go with Flutter Doctor and then you will see normally what the error message is here. So in this case, Flutter ins is installed correctly, Android Studio is correctly installed, the IntelliJ IDE is correctly installed and the Dart and Flutter plugin is therefore also here set. In this case, we don't have the Dart and Flutter plugin because we don't want to use Android Studio. If you want, or if you want to, that this error here go away, just install it. So it's pretty easy, we can do it quickly. Therefore, we go again to our Android Studio, to settings. Then we search under plugins for Flutter. And we have to click here on this search in repositories. And then we simply install Flutter and it will automatically download also the Dart package here. Do you need Dart? Yes. After it, we need to restart the IDE. Therefore, we restart Android Studio. And after we have restarted Android Studio, we run this Flutter Doctor command again. And now we should see that everything has your green tick on the left side and that everything just works fine. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.